gone. Listen. Nelvin really good. Nelvin's I think it's been Nelvin is real. Nelvin really is. But really I feel good. like a lot of what's got him here has been fairly linear approaches. Like, grab the banana, that's his game plan. There's Monkey one, flip, that's his neutral. There's one player that knows how to break down approaches and other options, I feel like it's Jewel. He's he, like he caught every single one with Sinji last set, and he's got another item wielder, so. You know he's gonna know what exactly to look for and how to play around it. I feel like this might be Nelvin's worst nightmare. Yeah, this is definitely some like. For, for Jewel, this is some Lotus Eater type stuff. Jewel's like, banana? He's, cool. He's playing in he a just gave me another tool. He not only has like another item, potentially two because of the guy, he has what could potentially be one of the best items in the, in game, the game still. Probably the best item in the game. I don't know any of any other item that renders you useless to do anything, even shield, that renders your defense useless and has such a domineering stage control only by being wielded within the hand. Like, it's just such a good item in the hands of someone so talented with items. On top of that, we've, we've seen several times already that Nelvin without banana in hand has gotten very linear. He likes My man wanted it, but now he might be dead. Wow. Wow. 4D chess where you start with a second queen. <laughs> <laughs> be out here. All right, now the man should just chip away a little bit with what he can. He needs to make sure to take advantage of being inside Jewel's face. That's where Robin tends to struggle the most is her CQC. Well, you're not going to find that issue with with Jewel. You're going to see he's using Thunder a lot as his close quarters hit control. Yo. And Thunder into Nair has already proven to be devastating. Yo. The charge from Nelvin gets him back. Jewel is OD. I just want to I just want to preface that like just f everything else. F being professional. Jewel is OD. That's is nice. He's so good. I've never seen a player approach the game how he approaches it, honestly. Jewel hits the sticks and he's like, I'm gonna play the game with my character the way that I I'm gonna make it art, dude. And you're gonna fall into my script. He, he, he wants his play to be like free-flowing poetry. You know, he, he's so good on the fly. He's so good with adapting to what his opponent's doing. His item play is immaculate. It's something that's criminally underrated, I feel like. It's a, it's a really criminally underrated skill. And Smash is definitely item play. Uh, in, the, in, a, in a world of spaces that are hitting each other every two seconds with their fists. Yeah, you gotta make some time for the big brain boys out here. I'm talking about fists, now they're starting to throw it flying, but like... Now that Falcon, great read on that air dodge right there. Don't know why Jewel exactly went for it. Seemed like kind of a panic option. Well, yeah, and it makes sense. It was like... Okay. Now that keeping an eye out for that. That's one thing that he has been perceptive of, is the habits of his opponents. And like... Without Banana, it's a lot harder for him to do much of anything, but, like, he still knows his character. He's learned what he can, he can and can't do. Jewel's sh movement right now, being able to catch landings where the opponent, like, he'll, he'll bait the opponent to think <laughs> that they can land. <laughs> Nelvin kept on pressuring like he had Banana in hand, but he grabbed the sword. I oh, the captain I, now. I swear, this matchup is, like, almost vaudevillian in how comical things Jesus are getting. Jesus Christ. It, it's it, like I said. This might be Mel Melvin's worst. I almost called him Melvin. <laughs> this Melvin? might be Melvin's worst nightmare. If he downgraded a letter, that's how bad the beating was. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of got schmixed that game. Like he he tried to uh, slip it through the cracks of his opponent, but he could he couldn't. Jewel had no cracks. Don't touch that muffin, Frank. Muffin's gonna kill me. Devin Devin's gonna eat your hands. What's up? No, he, he's if already he touches made that me. muffin again. He's going to dare touch that muffin. I already made a mess. <laughs> I already made a mess, and we learned that I can't eat the muffin. So, like, I'm, I'm chilling. Touch the muffin, you die. <laughs> Honestly, at this touch rate, the muffin, you die. <laughs> Man, can I touch the muffin? I travel. I travel three and a half hours out of my way Hoggies. just to be given lethal food. That's a Darmgar, by the way. Daramgar, I should say, for bringing all these pastries. I mean, he's a talented chef, that man, and a baker. Proud of also a Ness player. Oh. <laughs> of course, I knew this was too good to be true. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> hey, we're not all that bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're all that bad. Yeah. So coming into game two, and we're on stadium two again. I like... Going back to PS2. I feel like if Nelvin is just a lot more aggressive... Yeah, he's got to stay in Jewel's face. That's the key here. Jewel has been able to only play his game because he's been able to think. If you don't give Jewel any thinking time, he, the, the, the computer over, oh, the, the computer fries. 
And he's been on the chase now, and it's, it's working so much better now. People seem to forget that Robin's disadvantage is not the greatest. No, she's still like an all right character at best. Uh, like, so Jewel makes this character move a couple spaces up too. Yeah, it, it's really it's Jewel's style that compensates for a lot of what this character lacks, and that's her. her uh, how I would describe, I guess, frumpy movement. Frumpy movement. Frumpy. Movement. Yeah, she does move like a frump. I think it's the big coat and the awkward dash attack. But nonetheless, yeah, and the boots. Um, my girl, my girl, they didn't give my girl room to breathe. You know those aren't actually. She has. She's actually wearing normal boots. There's just a giant sock. She got the Tims, bro. Those are definitely the Tims. Those are like Fims. She's got the the Potter Elevens on. The <laughs> the Gryffindor Twelves. <laughs> <laughs> I just. I want to see Nelvin just get more in his face. Like, Maybe use this some just bear. Use some nares. It might not be his gem. Paradoxically, every time Nelvin goes to put the banana on the field because he wants to get something going. He ends up giving the banana to Jewel, and he keeps on, keeps on letting up that pressure that he's built up. If he just waits a second for Jewel to overcommit to an option in his face, he'll win. He'll literally win the interaction. I think it's I think it's more of a fear thing though at this point, where Jewel has revealed his cards and how how like the abundance of options he has at his fingertips. But I don't think Melvin seems to realize that if you get it real close onto the the sorcerer, she can't cast no more spells. He's trying. He's trying to chase down, but Jewel's also been staying so evasive. You know, we got to give some credit to Jewel. Melvin definitely has been trying to do the chase. However, though, when you start chasing like that, your play gets very linear. It's just a well, tough nut to crack for Melvin. That was an issue that we saw earlier with Melvin, too, is that he started limiting his own options. Like, when you just start approaching forward, well, like, laser focus on the banana and grabbing that, like, it makes it a world easier for Jewel to be able to focus He's his own. His own banana. Look at that! It feels bad. I like how they put a color indicator on the banana now to let people know that uh, whose it is. I don't know if that happened before. But very I don't good. think it was in four, I think it was in Brawl and in uh, obviously this game. Wow, try to go for the Z jump. They're just playing hot banana right now, bro. They're literally playing hot potato with the bananas to see who can use it better. When when you well, as Diddy, when you get forced by your opponent to fear the projectile you've used for so long, it's scary. I noticed Jewel has been slowing it down a little bit as well. Hasn't been burning his resources as much. He's kind of just been waiting to see what Nelvin's going to be approaching with from here on out. And I like, I, I like, I like that. But Jewel's also not like Jewel should be setting up his new, next move constantly. You know, because that's that's how Diddy gets you. Diddy, if you give Diddy the time to get in your face, you're gonna get you're gonna get messed up. Well, he's well, he's recognized that Nelvin is starting to figure out the pattern of zoning, and the fact that Nelvin is being more aggressive means that Jewel needs to. Like, try to slow that down because that's where he was really seeing success. That was a great getup attack. Really unfortunate that sword sucks, though. <laughs> My man needs to hop in, hop in Minecraft and make a diamond sword real quick. And bronze sword is where it's at. <laughs> it's got a lot of uses. Unlimited uses here. Except for being good at getup attack. Yeah. We didn't say it was good. <laughs> just that it doesn't break. It has a lot of uses. We didn't say it was good. <laughs> All right, though, Nelvin just giving up, like, ledge trapping. I love the Nair there just to, to catch it, just in case he messed up uh, whatever ledge trap he was going to get. Now, Jewel's been unable to get up. Still throwing the sword up and down as he's going. And now, Nelvin bringing it back. Yeah, that's what he needed. He needed to stay in Jewel's face, and he succeeded at just that. that Using his like banana. A stressful game for Nelvin. Like, he made it through, but... My man just passed the SATs for probably, like, the fourth time. I'm assuming that Nelvin's an intellectual, so my man probably only had to take it once, but... Here we go. My man, my man just had to take a, a standardized test right there. It's like, yes, I passed. Got into Harvard. If you beat if you beat Jewel, it's basically the same thing as getting into Harvard. How's everybody doing in chat today? Hope your day's good. Press one if your day was good. Press two if it wasn't so good. And the people who press one, please be nice to the people that press two. Look at you with that positivity. Yeah. We're out here. Give some of those happy vibes. Man. Good vibes, bro. You have to have good vibes when you're watching Xeno. You know. I see ones. I see the people doing pretty good. Awesome. I'm glad to hear everyone's having a great day. Tranquilo Street. If you're having a great day, please follow Hangman on Twitter. <laughs> Sick. Poor. And also follow House. Definitely follow House. Hey, there we go. 
All right, though, Nelvin. Back to our regularly scheduled animal. Wow, here, dude. I've been back into it. Okay. PS2 once again. Going to mail Robin. My man said we need a little, we need a little more testosterone. No, maybe maybe one tactician was enough. Maybe we need two. Two heads better than one. We'll see what happens. Because off the bat, we've just seen a bit more projectile play from Jewel. But I guess if the match is going to be slowing down, might as well take it to its logical extreme and just making a zoning war. Because like we've seen Jewel do well in those as well. Now both these guys have been playing in, the, in each other's face stuff. Maybe maybe Jewel, it's like a mental thing. Like he picked Mel Robin because he wants to swing more. Maybe he's like, know. I'm done being reserved. That's one thing I gotta ask him if there's any correlation between male and female. I could, I or it may be like the thing, you know, because I do the similar thing. I, I change colors every time I lose, so maybe he, he, he changes it. Yeah. Sometimes you need a little change of scenery. That's fair enough. By the way, I'm, I'm <laughs> not trying to be sexist against female rapper. I'm just saying maybe it's different mentalities for different uh, different characters. I mean, so far all you've established is that female Robin's got the better combo game and male Robin does the great. best. Male, male Robin does the unga. I mean, both of them are just bums that fall asleep in fields. Oh, uh, okay. Wow, he made it back. I thought he was dead. That one's good. He's got the hops, bro. He's got the spirit of Jordan in, in, in his book. Nelvin just juggling it. Nelvin... Taking a bit so Jewel, Yo, Jewel you've got to be right kidding now. me. You know he's at was his that happiest. Six? Was that six arc fires or five? Nah. I can't even count. But it's working. Uh, Nelvin, he's caught on to Nelvin's linear approaching with the banana. And now he's just been taking full advantage of it by, by pressing the, the red button. He's, he's just some, throwing these out. This is some true Jewel ASMR I right don't know now. why he's doing this, but it's working. It's a, it's a nervous habit of his that he's been very, like, vocal about. And for what it's worth, Arcfire is kind of a difficult projectile for Diddy Kong to get through. As a fellow fire spammer, I can appreciate that. My man just swings! He doesn't care! Nobody did kind of put himself there to get bodied. I low-key want to see Jewel run off and just do Arc uh, Elwin. I feel like he can snipe the, the barrels. I don't know if it does enough damage to do so, because I know you need a certain amount of damage to break Diddy Kong out of the barrels. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, Street, but yeah. What did you just say? Did you sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, like, Robbie definitely doesn't say that spell correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I did my whole spell in Nosferatu. Yeah, yeah. Like, he like a bee fly into his like, nostril or something <laughs> while he's saying this. <laughs> oh, banana? Yeah. But now yeah, just makes them so fresh. He could have got a shield break too if he did smash attack right on there, but he couldn't get there fast enough. I love how brave he is to do that, uh, the, the B reverse, even as he's about to seep below the ledge. It's a dangerous position for a lot of players, and Jewel, Jewel's showing a lot of comfort in it. I didn't know Diddy scratches you. Yeah, no, they updated That's the different. Graphic. Yeah, he gets yeah, before, violent. Before he, it's slappy. before he was doing some, uh, some questionable things, yeah, he's just slapping now he scratches you. Yeah, you know, of, word, of note with that command grab, we haven't seen Nelvin do a lot of it because it's mostly just been monkey kick spam. He but just like, needs to find a way in, I think. I feel like he hasn't really been thinking about, you know, what he's doing once he's in. Like, I don't think, I think Nelvin's just trying to play the ultimate form of Diddy. I don't think he's really adapting to the matchup as well as he could be. Jewel has been staying locked in shield a lot, and he's been shielding when Nel every time Nelvin threatens him in. So I would like to see a bit of monkey flip. This is also a kill move, I believe, now. Well, I mean, it doesn't save damage. Oh, great tech chase on the platform right there. I would say he could be doing a better job of catching Jewel's landings, but honestly, Jewel does such a great job of mitigating players catching his landings that, you know, you can't really fault someone for not being able to because Jewel will do his B reverses at literally the last possible second to get the maximum amount of aerial drift. Oh, yeah, he's super confident in his movement, and because of that, there's not a lot of gaps in where you can take advantage of him. On top of that, because of how he has to move around, he's doing so with a with a hurt box, a hitbox out of it. Monkey Flip really went through all that. Now, this is a precarious position for, for Jewel right now if he's stuck in the corner. That being said, Nelvin has been eager to reset neutral quite a bit. I'd kind of like him to see. I'd like to see him stay in Jewel's face a little bit more because I feel like he's been resetting neutral very often to, to pull out another banana. Maybe it's like a comfort blanket for him. I'm not too sure. We're seeing a flurry, dude. Jewel's had to play so many projectile characters today. Not really so many, but just Sinji. But yeah, he's just had to like adapt so heavily because there's so many different like aspects of this character that needs to get fleshed out per matchup. 
All right, Jewel getting the good sword again. Back air, not going to quite do it just yet, but this does put Nova. This is actually way closer of a set than I thought it would be. I don't know what that was, that idle animation right there. I think he tried to go for a... Uh, wow! That's not going to be it! They both stood up and thought it was over! Ah! Pressure's on now. I mean, now both of them are premature popped off, so... Oh, that's going to be it! Nelvin takes it over, Jewel. That's why we don't stand up till the game is over. Yikes. Look at this. Do we have it where they both set up? I just want to see that one more time. Which time? The first time or second? First time. Oh, gotcha. Take, take one. Nelvin flew, dude. Nelvin he, just grew wings. He was like, I he rocket power packed out of his chair. I lost Fair. my fight, money. Jewel, was, yeah. Jewel popped off. He popped off, Nelvin popped off too. And they both thought it was over. And then Bibby Kong decided it was time to take a ride. I've, if there's any way for like for like a cathartic moment to be stifled, it's definitely a dramatic finish in last situation. Dramatic finish is like built in a couple hours. That dap almost ripped Jewel's hand off. That was